When making this wig, you will need a crochet wig cap. This is the hair that I used. Um, I already had it, it was pre-purchased, but I liked it because it was pre-looped, which made it very easy for crocheting. You will also need a wig stand. And for me, um, it's easier unless you have something else to use. Um, you will need a crochet hook and your hair of your choice. This is a quick go-to go style, and it's super easy, super quick, super efficient, something to grab and go. So if you need a grab and go style, I'm telling you, make you a ball cap or a bucket cap, whatever you wanna call it, wig. It's so easy, it's very protective, and you can just grab this and go, and you're straight no one is the wiser if you as you can see this was very quick um if you have your own process of doing your loops then that's fine even if you don't have the pre-looped you can do it it may be actually easier because the loops sometimes got um would be would snag trying to go through so if it's not pre-looped it may go a little faster to be honest um because then you can just take it take it straight through and then loop it your own self. So um, pre-looped was easy. However, it may be easier if it's not pre-looped. Just your choice, just your thoughts. As you can see, I'm only doing the perimeter. Just like when we used to do braids and you did it, um, we're running out and wanted to do a quick style and just throw it up. That's all that is. As you see, the hat covers it, covers the um, inside so no one can see it. You can wear a scarf on it. You can wear this several different ways, depending on your choosing. Dress it up, dress it down. So this is how I styled it. And as you can see, super cute and super chic. Tell me what you think in the comments. Always thank you for like, commenting, and subscribing. Until the next video, take care.